Good morning. Happy Thursday. I just put on uh, some vitamin C serum. That's why I look like this. I will let this sit for a minute and then put on some moisturizer. So I just put, what did I just put in the washing machine? Blankets from the living room. I just gathered all the towels because those will go in next. This just makes me happy. I'm leaving, so I'm not gonna light everything because I turn it all off when I leave for safety reasons, obviously. But look how pretty. We should have decorated in like July. Let me just pick up these snacks from last night. We had like a veg out on the couch last night. Uh, we watched Grey's Anatomy. I think we're on season 11. I fall asleep quite often, but I think we're on season 11. Oh my gosh, I drank all those waters. I guess I need to put some more in there. Um, and we had like just random leftovers. So Brian brought home some ribs that he had for lunch that he didn't get to eat. I pulled out leftover chicken from Moe's. I pulled out leftover spaghetti. I pulled out leftover crab cakes that Brian cooked a couple days ago. There wasn't like a lot of any one thing, but it was really good. And then to top the night off, I made us some chocolate chip cookies. So now I am going to put some waters in the fridge. So I have, oh, you can't even see my face. I have an appointment at 11 at the hair salon to get a smoothing treatment. So since, I went darker. My goal is to not color my hair for a while. Um, it's just, it's damaged and I need to just give it a break. But last time I was there when we did the, the dark hair color, she did a smoothing treatment and it's supposed to help with like heat protectant. Um, it smoothed it out a lot so you didn't have a lot of dryness and breakage. Which is something I struggle with. I already have naturally coarse and very dry hair. So I use like moist, like super moisturizing um, shampoos and conditioners and stuff like that already. But this is just a little bit of extra boost because it is hard for me in my job to not heat style my hair. However, Brian needed a good gift for me and was asking me, and I told him I wanted the Dyson set with the curling iron and all that kind of stuff. So maybe that could help as well. I've never tried it, but obviously I read a bunch of reviews because it's hella expensive. And if you're gonna spend that kind of money on it, it better be worth it. And I think it could be worth it for me. So hopefully I got that. I don't know if you got it for me or not, but I'm trying to do what I can to minimize all the heat styling and stuff on my hair, right? No more heat. <laughs> Sorry it's not super bright in here at this angle. It's because the light is over there. But it's been about five or six minutes since I put the vitamin C serum. It's the Way of Will brand. It's becoming a favorite quickly. So I'm just gonna put some moisturizer on and then before I go get my smoothing treatment, I ran out of packing tape last night. So I need to run and get some tape and maybe some packing peanuts. I need to ship a couple things for Christmas stuff. I don't know what the filming rules are at the hair salon. They haven't had any rules in the past. However, with everything that's going on now, I know we're spending like minimal time inside the salon. Like it's sort of an in and out, don't sit in here for too long, wear a mask kind of thing. This is the after. The oil does take a minute to sort of calm down, but I just feel like it legitimately brightens my skin. Like. It's called a face brightening serum. I read it online the other night because I was talking about it in last week's vlog and it's vitamin A and C, but it's a darker oil consistency. I just feel like, I mean, I'm real glossy right now, <laughs> but it, it just, it does really well with my skin. Just made it to the hair salon. So I wanted to show you a before because the treatment only takes like 10 minutes. So it's not really a lot to show you. It's basically, get your hair wet. I don't know if she's gonna wash and condition it first and then the treatment sits on there, not even a minute, and then you take it off. So, in the event that there's not a lot to show you, I wanted to just give you an idea of my hair, not that you haven't seen it before. So here's what it looks like before. I did wash it two nights ago and then yesterday because I shot with Bella Rose, I curled it. Yeah, so this is just after curling it 
yesterday, came home, brushed it out, and put it in a bun. Um, so here we go. This is the before. I want to grow my hair long, like way down here long, but I haven't decided yet. I feel like this is also a good length. It's cute, curled, I don't know. Anyway, so here's the before. I'll show you the after. And this is the after. So it took a little bit longer only because we also did a deep conditioning treatment. So she shampoo conditioned deep conditioning that sits for 15 minutes under the heat dryer thingy. And then we did the smoothing, smoothing serum. Is that what smoothing and shine? Yes, that's what she called it. Um, my hair, it looks the same, but it feels amazing. And it's just, it's not dry at all. God, just, it just feels so good. So I went ahead and made an appointment to uh, do this again in another two weeks. And um, she gave me um, some tips on things I can do to maybe not have so much dry breakage and stuff like that. But I am on the right track. We talked about it with the like no hair color and sort of just let your hair do its thing. So anyway, there we go. It is now 12 o'clock. I am hungry, but I want to run into Publix. I need to get some buns and maybe a bag of french fries or potato chips. I pulled out some Koneka sausage for dinner tonight. Um, and then she did tell me about a shampoo and conditioner at Ulta. So I may swing into the Ulta. I wonder if I can do curbside pickup. We're going to look into that. Did I just catch you trying to eat the tree? Were you just trying to eat the Christmas tree? Huh? I already called her. So I just talked about this on Instagram. So on the back side, let me go to the other side and turn the light on. So I was standing here doing dishes and I noticed that there's a bunch of holes like where these little lights should be and they're not. And then I realized the cat always sits right here. So then I caught her trying to take the red star out. I'll put the Instagram video here. <gasps> I just caught her literally red handed. Ma'am, no. Layla, don't, <laughs> don't you do it. What do you have to say for yourself? Anything? She just got sick and threw up a hairball. And now she's trying to eat a Christmas tree. She's trying to get a T-R-E-A-T. -E Not gonna happen. Look, this is usually where she sits or she sleeps there a lot of the times. Anything? Anything at all, ma'am? Nothing? Okay, just don't eat them, please. And when you knock them off, then the dog wants to eat them. So don't do that, okay? No, you don't want nothing to do with me. It's only five o'clock. So I, obviously, I don't have on any makeup. I didn't do any videos. I don't feel good. So I just was like, you know what? Today I'm gonna relax and just chill out. I re-did uh, my like calendar. So last night I sat down and made a calendar for myself for what I need to do every day. And I can't tell you how much stress that just relieved. I just, I feel so organized. So granted, I didn't get to one of the tasks that I wanted to do today, but that's okay. I just stuck it on tomorrow and we'll get it done. So apparently the saga continues. I was literally outside for three whole minutes, drinking a drink, some coffee, sitting with cash. I come in and the cat is sitting just like this. Ma'am, you've done so well for how many years? Okay, we gotta fix it, gotta clean it up. Good thing I already know what that one is. It's now 7.30. So, I just cut some of this sausage. I left them long because I'm gonna put them on these buns that I got from Publix today. I didn't put the fries in. I think we're just gonna do potato chips. <laughs> Good morning, happy Friday. I just curled my hair. I don't know why that piece is not curled all the way. So I'm waiting a second before I like finger comb it. Um, but I am going to film a couple videos today. I know I talked about yesterday. I was going to film videos and I didn't. So we're going to do it today. But I thought it might be interesting, maybe, to show you what I look at 
whenever I film videos. I always put this mirror right here. It is normally in this spot, but while I'm filming, it's just easier to look here versus like turn around. So this always goes here. This is what I film sit down videos with because this camera has either autofocus or manual focus. If you've watched my old videos, it was on autofocus and it would always shift um, slightly in and out of focus. So it's harder to film try on videos with this one. Um, if I do manual focus, I have to refocus and can't move. So what I do is I have this tripod with a little ring light and I'll just put my phone right here. And that's what I film the try on portions and stuff with. Sometimes I film the whole thing. iPhones are great. If you have one, then you know the quality is really good. Um, but if I do sit downs like the video of me and Brian, we filmed with the big camera. This is my makeup desk. <laughs> it's a little bit messy. And then over to this side, I am going to film um, some stuff with fashion. These are shoes that I use pretty often for videos and pictures. This is a video I'm filming today as well. This is all that you see back here. It's just this like open space. You don't see any of this. I'm filming this one tomorrow. I'm very excited for that makeup bag or, you know, modeling bag. So I bought this for Brian for Christmas. He's already seen it. I bought it because he's been looking for a rug like this. It's a faux cowhide rug. There we go. That's a better idea. So it has a bunch of these gold specks in it. I didn't realize how much gold. And then I started thinking, I'd shown my sister and she was like, I don't think he's gonna like it. So I showed Brian and he in fact does not care for it. But now I own it. It's past the day when I can return it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. We just finished filming. Oh, you don't wanna be on camera. Hi, hi. We took some fun pictures outside. Uh, me and Cash did. I will put it here on the screen. Whew, it is now like one o'clock. So I'm going to edit a couple things, get some lunch. Brian has to work late tonight. Um, so I'll see you a little bit later. Maybe when we decide what we're gonna do for dinner. Y'all, this dog has grown to love car rides. Love them. She used to be so hesitant. And now it's like anywhere I go, she's like, okay, where are we going? There we go. Wasn't I just bragging on Cash yesterday about being so good about car rides? I couldn't get her to get in the car with me this morning. So it's like 8.30. I'm going to go with 8.30. Yeah. On Saturday. Happy Saturday, by the way. I am headed to get a coffee. The little truck is up the street. I just wish they had a drive through Like, I had to put on a bra, like, real clothes to get out of the car. Um, so I'm going to get a coffee and then start my day. Yesterday, you didn't see me anymore. Brian had to work super late. I didn't cook dinner. He ate leftover spaghetti. I had chips and dip. So that's what we did last night. But tonight, I'm hoping that maybe we can do takeout or something because he's, um, he gets off a little bit early tonight, but he doesn't have to go in tomorrow. So for him, he feels like he can stay up late and like do things. So I hope that we can do something like that tonight. It's also a super dreary day. It rained last night. Um, the pool is actually super full, but this is what it looks like outside right now. We're home now. We, as in me, you didn't go, huh? You didn't go. Can you see Kitty right there? <gasps> there she is. Okay. Oh, ma'am. I know we get excited. Hang on. This is my favorite part of the morning. Are you ready? Oh, there we go. I'm sitting down. I'm going to find me something to watch on Netflix. I'm going to get ready. Film uh, the Dress Lily video today. I'm... Layla? No, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to film the Dress Lily video today. I'm excited because I have done so many videos with Dress Lily, but I did a Halloween costume, like what can you can wear on Halloween that's not a costume plus costumes video. And so many of y'all said it was your favorite video that I'd ever done. Like you had a lot of fun watching it. So they asked me if I wanted to partner again. I said, yes. Yeah. So this go round, it's actually right there. Um, I ordered a bunch of like Christmas outfits. So I thought it would be fun to try them all on. I don't know when the video goes live yet. If it's already live, I will link it down below. But I typically... I'll explain this in the video too if you watch it. Um, but typically with these, because they come packaged like so tightly wrapped, I open all of them, hang them up on this closet right back there, 
and steam everything. That way it's not wrinkled and I've kind of gotten an idea to gather my thoughts on each item before I talk about it. But I thought it would be fun this video to not look at anything ahead of time. So we're gonna open everything on camera, try it on, first reaction, I think it'll be fun. So I'm going to get ready. Hi. Hopefully um, I'll look a little bit different in about 30 minutes for me, about one second for you. <laughs> and just like that, we are ready. I got sucked into watching that show, The Prom on Netflix or the movie. Is it a movie? Yeah, I think it's a movie. Uh, but anyway, I'm ready. I'm going to film my video. I chose to do like a little bit of glitter on my eyes or shimmer today. Totally out of my element. But I kind of really like it. Okay, so I'm going to film. I have my coffee. I'm almost done with it. That's probably why I keep talking so fast. And I'll see you later. Bye. Good morning. Happy Monday. Yes, it is Monday. Cash, what are you doing? Oh, it's cold. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's cold. So the last time I saw you, I'm pretty sure it was Saturday. Yes, we ended up ordering pizza for dinner. That was it. And then yesterday, uh, Brian was off. Oh my gosh, it was his only day off for the week. So we just hung out and did stuff together. We um, had brunch at our favorite spot. Y'all know Brick and Spoon. I've talked about it how many times on the vlogs already. Um, I went with him to work to get a few things done so he didn't have to go in super early this morning. Did a little shopping, did a little gift wrapping. Today we'll do a little gift shipping. I have one Claritin left. Y'all know for how long have I been asking y'all for recommendations on good, like, allergy pills? So finally, I'm done with this. I'm going to try something else. Thank you for all your recommendations. Good riddance. I've also been trying to drink a bottle of water. First thing in the morning, let's time it. How long do you think it'll take me to drink this? Ready? Three, Ooh. three, two. Close enough. I'm filming this, hi, this uh, fashion video this morning, but I got a trunk club yesterday. So this afternoon, I figured we'd do a little vlog try on haul. Look at the cat, don't do it, no ma'am. Layla, no ma'am. Just finished filming the fashion video. It's already up, I'll link it down below. So now I figured while I'm in the mood of just trying things on, Let's do this trunk club box. Ooh. Okay, yeah, let's do this one first. I'll put as if this was a typical like try on video on its own, not being in a vlog. I'll put all of the prices and sizes and everything on the screen. I will also link everything if I can find it in the description box down below. Trunk club is a Nordstrom box, so chances are I can find everything either on Nordstrom's website or sometimes Nordstrom Rack. This is the brand Babo. It's in a size 3X. It is a true wrap dress. Like all this is open over here. It's on sale for $38.97 right now. Regular price I think is $98. It's a little bit, like I can't really get it. No, oh, maybe there we go. To cover my whole bra. This is pretty. I like the darker leopard look of it. The sleeves are really fun. Here's what it looks like from the back. I feel like that's a really good price for this dress, but see like it kind of just does that. It doesn't really fit properly. All right, I spotted this. I think it's a sweater and then I saw some denim. So let's do this next. Before I put these jeans on, I thought this was a dress. This is the brand Halogen. It's in a size 3X. They call it an oversized turtleneck sweater, I think, $69, did I say that already? I put it on and I was like, is this a dress? But in the picture, it clearly is not a dress. But if you're shorter than me, I'm 5'8 for reference, then you might could get away with wearing this as a dress. And it is comfortable. I, I mean, I'll sleep in this. Like I would wear this around the house because it is a little bit longer, not for $69. I wouldn't wear it around the house as a sleep, as a sleep uh, turtleneck. So these jeans are cut from the cloth in a size 20W. They're called the High Rise Reese Ankle Straight Leg. 
Ooh, I like that. I like it. These are on sale for $59.40. Regular price, I think I just saw was $99. These fit so nice. I just front tucked this sweater. They're a little bit high waisted, maybe like an inch, half an inch. Um, I love the bottom of these. I love that there's no distressing on the actual leg. It's just sort of this fun, funky detail at the bottom. Here's what they look like, like if I were to wear this sweater. I would wear this outfit 100% and I would wear booties, like some black booties or I think I have snake skin printed booties in here, y'all. Chinese laundry, that sounds about right. I, nope, those are black. That's okay. We, we might could do black. I think there's three pair of shoes. Treasure and bond, maybe that. Black, white, snake. Okay, I the snake skin print boots I own are more like heeled booties. Y'all have seen them so many times. So these are $119.95, I think was regular price. They're on sale for $46. Okay, I'm excited for these. Maybe not with this outfit. They're a little bit snug. They're a size nine and a half. Typically I wear a size nine or nine and a half, but in boots I size up to a 10. And there's just a little bit snug. But I think these kind of boots are really cute uh, with like straight leg or skinny jeans. Not so much with this outfit, but I kind of like them. I like the idea of them. I don't know if they're doing it for me, you know what I'm saying? But the price is really good for a really great brand, but they are a tad bit small. So let's do these Chinese laundry boots. They're on sale for $49.90. I'll put the name and the regular price on the screen as well as the size is a nine and a half. Ooh, these are cute. I love that big chunky heel. Again, the nine and a half might be a little bit small, but these with like a zip all the way down will most likely fit a little bit easier than the ones that don't zip. I do like these. They're a little bit snug. I think I would need a size 10, but they're kind of cute with this look, right? With the gray front tucked oversized and the boots. I love the heel on them, this like chunky, Okay, so they are comfortable. Again, I wouldn't be able to wear socks or anything with them because I think I just need, yeah, I think I need a size 10. This one is a little bit small. The brand is One State. It's on sale for $34.30. It's like a ruffle, funky dot pattern. Oh, it's cute though. It's just a little bit snug. Yeah a little bit tight but if it were flowy and like the proper fit this could be really fun because it's got these like can you see them these really pretty dots all right but it doesn't fit <laughs> so let's move on to this floral ash astr the label is the brand this is 65 bucks it's called the floral v-neck it is lined but it's attached Ooh, even better that's nice. And it has this slit in the front. I like that. It kind of gives you a little bit more room in the hip area. It's a pretty top. It reminds me of like Easter, April, like the, the, the month <laughs> for some reason. I like the curved hem. I like the length of it. It does have an elastic band right there. Sleeves are sort of mesh see-through, but the rest obviously is lined. It's pretty. It's not so much me, but it is pretty. But again, $65 for it to not be me, it's not really, it's not gonna work. So I do have um, a pair of leggings and a couple of like workout tops. Okay, so this is a Nike yoga top, 50 bucks, yes, $50. It's like a longer top. Now, Nike, I feel like, runs pretty true to size. So I can usually wear a 2X, sometimes a 1X. I would prefer a 1X in the top for sure. Um, it's just not really holding anything in where I would want it to. These are Zella 
Z-E-L-L-A brand leggings. They're $59 in a size 3X. Neither of these items is on sale. I feel like with workout clothes, I always size down because I want them snug and I don't want rolling or me trying to pull them up like there's extra fabric here. I think these I would need a 2X for sure. Um, I could maybe even go to a 1X if I needed to. I like them. I love the Zella brand. It's just the sizing on this is just a little bit off. Here's a little pocket. It's real tiny though. Like that's how wide it is. Maybe you just put your key in there. The next thing I have is like a workout crop top. It's like this is all that there is to it. Y'all, okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot and I'll put the picture here of what this is supposed to look like, okay? So it's a O-N-Z-I-E is the brand. It's on sale for 38 bucks. It says it's a one size cropped tank. Keep that in mind. And here's what it looks like on me. Um, I, I wonder if it's like a one size for straight size. Like it's not necessarily a plus size one size because this is just, I feel like it's comical at this point. Um, okay. All right. Let's just, let's just move on. I do have a pair of earrings here. Panacea. Panacea is the brand. These are very pretty. It says 22 bucks on the back. I'll put on the screen if they're in fact $22 or if they're on sale. And then I do have one pair of shoes left. They're the Splendid brand. And they're these like strappy, really cute shoes. Okay, I have it on this foot. It barely fits, like there's no stretch to the straps. $27.58 I think is the total. All right, so let's talk final thoughts while I try to put everything back away. I love the jeans and they're on sale. I do find with cut from the cloth that they tend to run, like they fit when you first try them on, but they do get baggy. So I'm inclined to see if I can size down. I haven't decided yet on that. The other thing I really like is the big gray oversized sweater. And now I'm going to take this off because I'm pretty sure I've stretched it to the max at this point. Look, it's like poking out. That's not how it's supposed to look. So I'm gonna take this off and I'm going to the post office. You gonna go with me? Okay. I just washed all her blankets. And she was in there sleeping. How cute. Go on. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna go to my sister's house. She has some packages that she would like me to put in her house. So I'm going to do that. Uh, UPS was crazy this morning. There was such a long line. It's, it's so cold outside. And I stood outside, gosh, for probably 20 minutes. And then again inside for probably another 20 minutes before it was my turn. The woman, a few people ahead of me, everybody was wearing a mask. I think. I mean, I was. I'm pretty sure everybody was. And we were all pretty far apart. But she was like telling the person next to her in line, like, yeah, I had that virus. I had that COVID. And everybody was just like, ma'am, first of all, I'm glad you don't have it anymore. But second of all, like, don't be telling people that when you're standing right next to them. Mm -mm. Oh, there's the mail lady. Good. I've got some packages. I'll get those on the way back in. Uh, my mom is not feeling so hot. Sorry for that for that noise. Um, yeah, she's not feeling so hot. She is at the hospital today getting some IV fluids. Hopefully that makes her feel better. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna talk because I know that noise is gonna be super annoying. <laughs> Y'all, okay, I'll have to just tell Brian not to watch this video. I don't know if he watches these vlogs. Anyways, I will purposely tell him not to watch this. So Brian, if you're watching this, don't do it. So I ordered him, have y'all ever heard of that brand Chubbies? They do, um, they started with like men's swim trunks and stuff, but they sell all kind of other stuff. Um, but they sell like these really short swim trunks for men. And Brian and I have this like ongoing joke that he, he doesn't wear short swim shorts. He doesn't wear short shorts at all. He likes them longer, almost to the knee, whatever. Well, they were having a sale and I ordered a pair of their, it's called the Whale Sharks, five and a high, five and a half inch inseam. And look how short they are. They are super cute though, with the little logo there. 
Y'all. He is gonna freak. I guess they don't look that short. They kind of look like kids swim trunks. Um, these are very nice, by the way. I got them on sale. I said that already. How much did I end up paying for them? I don't remember. Regular price um, is like 50 bucks. I feel like that's, I'll try to find them and link them down below. But this just made my day. They have pockets. I like the different tones. I love this little pineapple, but I did it for two reasons. Like I think he would look great in the shorter shorts. He doesn't think so. So now we're gonna find out. You'll never see them on him, I'm sure. I'm sure he will never wear them. But um, I thought that they were funny. So, oh, I cannot wait for him to open these. I debated putting them in his stocking, but his stocking's full. So we're gonna have to do something else. Anyway, I just wanted to show you. I got a kick out of them. I just put my hair up. I'm also editing a fashion video that I think you've already seen. Did I already talk about this? I feel like I did. Uh, this popcorn, it's the Target Wonder Shop Kettle Corn Gingerbread made with real butter with white chocolate drizzle. This is so good. It's super sweet though. Like I can only eat like a handful at a time because it's so sweet. But if you see this at your Target, then get it. Brian likes the, what kind does he like? Let me see if we have one in the pantry. Yeah, here we go. So he bought a couple of these. It's a different brand, but it's almonds, cashews, and buttery toffee on popcorn. So if you're ever at Target and you spot those, we recommend. Oh no. this pillow to the collection it's from home at home yes at home we got it on Sunday I don't know I thought it was pretty with the white beaded and stuff like that it sort of matched the vibe in here good morning officially from my face so Brian bought some of these little twinkle lights the other day and I have, yes, the correct batteries. I'm gonna put some in this little bowl in the dining room that's against the window. There's a bunch of light like by the tree and then that little white tree that y'all just saw, but there's no extra twinkle lights um, near the back of the room. Ah, there we go. I'm thinking of putting them in this bowl because there's no light or anything over here. Or I could put them in this but the bowl might be the cutest. And there we go. That was easy. Okay, it's been a while. I filmed my style Saturday for this weekend. It's only Tuesday, but I'm going out of town Thursday and Friday, so I need to go ahead and film, edit, and schedule it, like have it ready to go. I did a fun uh, five sweaters, five holiday looks. I'm excited for y'all to see it. I feel like I always, I say this in every video too, I always get really good ideas. So hopefully you like it, it will be live on Saturday. So what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and end this vlog here and edit y'all so that you can see it tomorrow on Wednesday. And then I'll start a new vlog Thursday when I go out of town because you have a different video for Thursday, which is a fun giveaway. So hopefully you enjoyed this week's vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm sweating in this turtleneck. Okay, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.